Was it? Welcome, 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 guys. How are you? You know always Yana Lou wants to meet you at a warm place, at a happy space, at a time of your life when things just don't seem to go right. But there's a God. Yes. Guys, I have a hot guest down here tonight. It might be a surprising night. We might have one guest. We might have two. But let me tell you something. It's going to be so impactful with information that you can walk away with your notebook full of nuggets to inspire you and to push you to the next level. I want you guys to know that even though we go through things in life, it doesn't have to knock you out. It doesn't have to hold you back. I think one of my guests came on here before and her name is Miss Char Bates and she said, no, I think it was Dr. Georgetta or Miss Char Bates. Either way, I love you girls. But they taught me a lesson and they were talking about, it didn't happen to me, it happened for me. Mm. So just know, that God has things happening for us guys, not to us. Because if Jesus can go through it, who are we not to go through it? Mm. Because I tell you, I truly, I truly cannot watch my child, nor can I go through nails in my head, hands nailed up, mm. my ribs, my feet tied up with barbed wire and nails. I couldn't go through that. So things happen to you is not the right thing. It happened for you. Remember to have faith of a mustard seed and remember to lead one to Christ. And that's what our job is. And then you can receive overflow. Mm. Guys, so without further ado, I have a great friend here with me on the panel. It's over so many plus years of my, her sisterhood. She is so amazing, guys. I just want you to meet this young lady because I want you guys to understand that no matter what you go through, we can beat the hurdles. That's right. If you have the right people around you, if you have the right mindset, if you have the heart to accept the situation, and forgive yourself because mm. God already forgave you. Yes, he did. But you need to forgive yourself. It's okay. And that great word, acceptance. Accept it. Mm. Accept the fact that it's already passed you by. Mm. Accept the fact that God already saved you. Accept the fact that you're already forgiven. Mm. Just accept it. Mm. And it's okay. Just remember your mind is the paintbrush and life is the canvas. Mm. So without further ado, I have a young lady that is going to be on here, Miss Marla Brown. Hi, Miss Marla Berry, how are hey, you, girl? girl? I'm great. How well, are you? Brown is the color that we are, but Brown Barry is, is who you are. Yes. <laughs> yes, <darling>. Barry. Barry. <laughs> I tell you, sis, it is such an yes. amazing time. Thank you I so thank you much. for coming on panel. Thank mm -hmm. you for the invite, sis. Oh, yes. This is my sister, y'all. All day long, she's yes. my sister. I tell you. I tell you. So, yes. so listen. I want people to understand who this great bundle of joy is oh in this popping, popping color. Hey. Can y'all can y'all look at her shoes right quick? Oh, oh. I mean ow. these shoes is oh, ooh, oh. <laughs> flawless, flawless, flawless. Check her out. The bag and the shoes are hers. I'm just trying to begin yeah, what I feel. You know? just, <laughs> just saying. Just saying. I mean, amazing. <laughs> I want, I want everybody to love on you. Yes. I think that you are an amazing, oh, amazing, you. amazing woman bless to have you. down here. And y'all know my word is amazing. I said I'm going to go on a diet from amazing. <laughs> you do say that often. It's, it's a I good do. word, though. It's you know, but word. I knew you was going to catch me on this, so That's I fixed myself. Word. Right. It's a good word. It's a good word. We'll <laughs> it take is. it. But you're phenomenal. Oh, and, and, you. and I say you're phenomenal because of the things that you went through. Ooh. Yes, yes. Guys, yes. this is a show to yes. let you know that... You know, when you overcome hurdles mm. and you go through some things that you yes. just didn't think you can get through, mm. you know what I mean? I think I taught y'all about a show or two back about having your testimonial <clears throat> book, writing down those things. Journalizing, yeah, absolutely. That you just didn't absolutely. think you was going to be able to get through. Absolutely. Just didn't think. Yeah, yeah. Right, the time it happened, mm -hmm. how you felt, mm -hmm. what was going on. The season of life you were in. And then the time he brought you up. Absolutely. So that absolutely. sets the tone absolutely. for them to basically have their own testimony book so when you go out to do it in the morning... You already beat those. Yeah, hurts. yeah, that's good. Marla. That's good. Marla Berry. Yes. Y'all yeah, just don't know. <laughs> Marla Berry. This is amazing. Thank you again. You're a mother that overcomes some hurdles that yes. I just didn't, you know, couldn't yes. fathom. Yes. You being my sister and right. all. And, you know, praying for you to have a baby. Yes, and, yes. You know? Back in the day. <laughs> 
But the things that you overcome, I yes. mean, you had a scare with Croy. Yes. And, that, and that's her son, guys. Yes. Beautiful uh, mm -hmm. young man. It's my miracle is. child. A yes. miracle child mm -hmm. it is. And he went through some very traumatic Absolutely. things in his life. And Absolutely. we didn't know if. Yeah. We didn't know. If God was saying, come on, baby, or right. stay right here. Right. But it was touch and go in the power of prayer. It, absolutely. And he, he picked the right mama. That part. Mm -hmm. He picked the right mama. The right mama. And I tell people that as part of my story all the time. He picked the right one. Yeah. Because it was, like you said, it was that we didn't know. We didn't know what was going on. It was something as minor as just the flu. Yeah. And the flu yeah, attacked his heart. And we talking emergency heart surgery and yeah. hours later we got to fix this and fix yeah. that and cardiac arrest 29 minutes it was a whole situation yeah. but god mm. that's the key and i never doubted what god says in his word because he's a healer yeah so i never doubted it that's right. uh we went through some times we were in icu for multiple weeks oh yeah multiple months mm -hmm. um and i just kept saying hey y'all pray for this today because this is what the doctor said yeah and then y'all and they would come back and say, "Well, we we didn't find any fluid, or we didn't mm -hmm. find it." We were praying, yeah, because I believe my God to be a heal healer, on. and He did exactly what He said. What he, he was said. Do. Come on, he somebody. Was gonna do. They don't yes. know. They, yes. You can't play with a praying woman. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And I just said, I just said, a couple of months before, then I said, God, you know, I know about all the miracles, you yeah. turning the water into wine and yeah. doing all these awesome things. The woman with the issue of blood. I said, but Marla Janae had never seen a miracle, like Ooh. me personally. And about two, maybe three weeks later, my son got sick. Mm. And God said, well, I'm going to show you. Okay. And from that point on, <gasps> February 1st, mm -hmm. 2013, baby. It, mm -hmm. it was a major turnaround. I was at school, normal work day, teaching my kids, got a phone call, and that was all she wrote. Wow. Yes. Wow. But God, because he's 18, great, right, graduated from what you say? high school, him and his twin sister, Morgan. And gorgeous. My Guys, are, he is gorgeous. My nephew, he is, he is gorgeous. He is. He is. Do you hear me? Babies. Yes. And they got up. They said, the doctor said, hey, you know, there he's not going to be able to talk again. He's going to have mm -hmm. dialysis. He's going to really have some issues with his right. lungs and his... And but God, he's fine, walking, singing, talking. Got a, got a vocal scholarship to Central State University. Shout out to the HBCUs, huh? Ooh. Yes, yeah, a vocal scholarship. Yes, yes, a nice size vocal scholarship. You see, won't he do it? Won't he do it? And we just, I'm just grateful. I, that's all I can say. I'm mm. just grateful. Yes. So. And then you had another scare. Then I had another scare. I had another situation where I, at at one time, actually, it was this week where I had both children in the hospital. In the hospital. And it was a, okay, Lord, what do I do? And then my 82-year-old father, who just just recovered from triple, triple, triple bypass, triple bypass. surgery uh -huh. in October, he said, Marla, don't you worry, but I'll stand in the gap for you. No, so my 82-year-old father went down there and handled that while I was here with this child and do what I had to do. So to have that circle. Yes. Uh, Pastor Campbell, shout out to the Faith Ooh. Center. Whoop, whoop. Big up to um, Pastor Campbell. Yes. I'm finna um, sidebar you for a minute. Ooh. I know. You know I gotta do it. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay, so yes. Pastor, Campbell oh, Pastor Campbell went to high school with me. Oh my God. And we were good friends. Oh but he's always been that wonderful person. That. Vince, I call him Vincent. Vincent. You know what I'm saying? Vincent. Yes, yes. But he has always been that. That person that want to tell you something positive. Yep. His his mother used to keep him dressed and yep. clean, baby. Yeah. Lady Campbell Lady Von Sale. Lady yes. Von Sale, baby. Yes. You hear the name, right? Yes. Yes. But he was amazing. Yes. You know. So big ups to you, Pastor. Big ups. I'm coming to visit the church. She pastor. already asked me to come. I already. And then already. he also has. A wonderful wife. We yes, wonderful Lady C, wife. love her. Yeah, Vincent She's Campbell's my go -to. wonderful wife and those two yes. beautiful girls. Yes, but my back girls. to back to back to you. Yes. we don't want to. We don't, don't want to get yeah. away from that. Yeah. Yes. So, so he talked one time about your days and mm -hmm. having who are your days? All right. Now. Who's that circle? Who are those people mm -hmm. in your circle? Right. And you got to have those people. Yes, you do. To pray and to not ask questions and and to be that 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 one mm -hmm. and I have multiple days. be that wall to lean on when you just don't need nobody asking questions just let me lean on you. yes yes and I and 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 when I'm going through because I didn't realize from my motivational speaking and my motivational um moments where I would go and just capture things on my IG yeah. or Facebook yeah. that I was really inspiring other people even in the midst of that storm of my child laying there with all 18 tubes coming mm -hmm. out and and this and that and we don't know and and I was just inspiring. I was just like, hey, I heard my son's heartbeat. You yeah. know, just the little things that we, we take, take for advantage. granted. 
Absolutely. Because it's an everyday process that we Absolutely. get up, we put on our shoes, we brush our teeth, we Absolutely. breathe, we, Absolutely. we eat. I'm going I'm to eat like crazy. Right. But, We're going to. Yeah, yes. no, we greedy. Yes. But, you know, we take, take we, advantage we of We absolutely that. had to learn how to walk, talk, do all of that all over mm -hmm. again. Ooh. At 13, athletic, you know, football star, basketball star, he had to do all that. So I had to have that patience like Job yeah. and take time to really go and say, yeah. okay, we're going to go back. Yeah. We're going to retrain. We're mm -hmm. going to walk. We're go and I just never doubted. I just never doubted God. Yeah. He gave you time to go back and smell the roses. He did. He gave you time to go back and look at this beautiful creation that you, you know, he did. an immaculate conception is something wonderful because right. God, I'm sorry, God thought about us. Mm -hmm. And if yeah. I, I tell people this, I've been saying this a whole like a couple of weeks, Marley, you okay. know, my, but weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell you, I will crack you up in a 2.5 seconds, honey. Right. But, you know, for y'all people that think. <laughs> We're born from molecules and atoms and, you Look know, here. that's just the chemical makeup, yes, yes. But if that was the case, how, how does it happen? Do how we does that do, happen? Does it bump into each other? Right. So that means babies should be falling out the sky. Out the sky. Where's the nets? Right. Because when I think about childbirth... Don't <laughs> Listen I, here. Listen here. Oh, okay. That part. Yeah, that right there. That part. It, wasn't no, it wasn't no molecule, baby. It, it, it was pain. Yeah. Because I didn't want epidural with yeah. neither one of the four Ooh. of mine. I wanted to feel everything that I could experience to, with this mm, being my blessing. Wow. I needed every bit of that pain. Wow. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? So when I look yeah. at this beautiful creation mm. that God enabled me yes. to be used to yes. bring through the light portal of life. Yes. Yes. Yo, yeah. children. Yeah. And I we're love just mine. we're just the borrowers. Mm. You know, we they're they're gods. We just have them right exactly. here to do what yeah. we have to do. So now and send them off. So I'm gonna get back to you were in the hospital. Yes. One baby was sick. Yes. Your son was sick. Yes. Then the baby girl got sick. Yes. And yeah. then the 82-year-old father that had the quadruple bypass, because a mother in. can't even <laughs> fathom mm -mm. how on earth do you choose between between which child? Oh my gosh. Yes. And I and I saw that that look in my son's face Sunday at like church, Mama and he be just with me. and he just kind of looked at me, and I was just like. And he asked to step away, so we stepped away, and we, you know, we walked out. He went to the restroom, yeah. and I was like, are you okay? And he just looked at me, and one of my prayer warriors followed me out. She said, Marla, go take him in the prayer room. Mm. I said, oh, okay. So I opened up the, the door of the bathroom. I said, come on. He was just walking back and forth, and I said, come on, let's go in this prayer so room. So wait a minute. You went to the boy's bathroom? Yes, I did. Okay, because this is my baby. <laughs> It's my child. Y'all know how we are about our kids, because I will my baby child. for mine. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> I Either did. one of the four or them great right. kids of yeah, mine. Look. So you went to the boys' I bathroom. Did. I did. And you weren't finna wait no longer. I wasn't. You just pushed the door. Yeah, I pushed the door, but I, I, I didn't say, hey, excuse me, it's somebody there. And he was my. pacing back and forth. He wow. had tears in his eyes. He wow. was just pacing back wow. and forth. I needed to I said, come on. Let's 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 come into this prayer room. And Mama Rose, you know, you got your mamas at the mm -hmm. church. Mama Rose, she said, girl, I got them. Don't, don't you worry about it. I said, this is my miracle child right here. Because mm -hmm. they don't know what he been through. They, they, don't, they don't know. They don't know. You out of town. I'm over here calling, and we can't talk to nobody at this we point. We uh -uh. just send up prayers. Right. And that's all you could do. That's all you could do. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I walked in a sense of boldness knowing that everything was going to be okay. So right there that part. is the part that you knew that this is not, not about me. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. This is about, he give us our moment. Yes. Time yep, to cry, yep, time to go, yep, all of that. Yep, 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 yep. So you had your moment to understand that this is a painful thought. Mm -hmm. This is a painful thing we're going through. Yep. But yet this is my son, but God, okay, I feel your presence. Yes, you yes. So now let me just focus on, if anybody is in this room that does not believe in God. Look at here. Please vacate the room. Look, please, immediately. Mm. Exits. Exits. <laughs> Seriously, because I didn't, I didn't have time to stop and think and prepare. None of that on February 1st, 2000. And 13, none of that was, I didn't have time to prepare. Mm -hmm. I had a regular school day. I was working. It was, it was all, and it was just the phone call. And I was like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. And that, I didn't have time. I didn't, I didn't, it wasn't too, you know, sometimes with surgery, like with my father's yeah. surgery, we had time. We prepped. Right. We, you know, multiple visits. We knew visits. it was coming. You could prepare yourself. You could prepare yourself. Okay. And at that point, I was just praying for touching of the hands. God told me to, you know, the morning of my father's mm -hmm. surgery, I opened up his shirt, honey. I prayed on that chest, anointed his chest, mm -hmm. and said, it's going to be okay. Amen. I will see you when you come back to oh, this okay. house. So that's like in the Bible when Abraham went up, but the sacrifice of lamb come was on. already there. Already. The ram was So he, when he saw the ram, he already knew that, okay, we, we gonna, we'll be back. That's when he said, we'll be back to we'll his. We'll be back. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So the baby again, didn't know. 
Cause he like, Daddy, what you doing? What's going on? What you doing with the? Who you finna uh, who, use that on? What you want me to lay down for? <laughs> what we doing? And, and the mama, you know. Let me tell you, now yeah. look, y'all can laugh with us too if you in Please that B I B L E. Please do. If you in that Bible, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you can. You can understand you can what understand the joke is about. What the so, joke is so, about. So, right. so, if you if there's any legs that man or female want to split, Just split them legs or the pages of that Bible, because he said if you thirst in my here. water, Ooh. then you will thirst no more. No more. But if you thirst in the no legs more. on the outside, mm. then you're gonna be dehydrated. You're gonna. <clears throat> part of the yeah, you're gonna mm. be <laughs> so it's just it's so it's so revelational and mm -hmm. things like that happen and then even in, in that season of time of where I was in my life yeah. and what was going on and I was you know upset because I had moved back to Cincinnati yeah. and I was like God what why well, I haven't been here since I graduated so I was a little despondent mm -hmm. on that so it made sense February 1st made sense yeah. oh I'm back here oh he had to bring it back to me I don't know what she thought she was running <laughs> to go have me coming to your house cookouts and my kids right. running around and yeah we're going to church together yeah. and then you just up and leave yeah yeah, yeah uh-huh welcome back and it was you right that welcome, show? Welcome, welcome back Carter <laughs> that's what that was <laughs> what you said I love it so now with all that yes how did you make the decision to go in the room with which child at that point yes well my my Parents had suggested, well, my father had suggested, hey, I will go ahead and come on in. Mm -hmm. um, you stay here. My father actually was the one. He's like, Marla, look, okay. I, will, I will take care of this. Okay. He's a retired anesthesiologist, so that he was in his field and in his right. thing. Right. Um, and so that was one of those things. And I said, okay. He said, I'll make the phone call, and I'll, I'll, I'll I'll, you don't worry about that. Baby. And I, he said, and I will, I will stand in the gap for you because you can't be there. Stand I in said, the gap. okay. I Shout out to Elton Berry. Yes, Dad, my daddy. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love when you and mom come to the house and yes. you can get over there and have yes. a good time. Have a good time. <laughs> you know. So that was that was and, and that that goes back to those days or mm -hmm. those people those you know because I, I have to recognize that not everyone has a family like that. Yep. They don't. You know what's so funny that you say that? You know yes. we come from the house of love. Yes. We always happy. Yes. You know, and anytime always. somebody see any of our friends yep. or anything, we always know. like yes. this guy. This is we're how always we are. bubbling. We're always. <laughs> this is it. Because we, our parents are love bugs. Yes. You know, yes. Nana. Nana yes. is my mom. Nana. I don't know Nana. I love Nana. <laughs> Nana, love girl. Nana. Nana cracks up everybody. My mama's she a joke, so she I keeps everybody laughing. I love Nana. Yeah. She's oh. funny. <laughs> yes, she is. Like, comical. Like, I'm telling real. you. Yes. So, we come from love. Yes. But it gets to the point that all this self-confidence and all these things, and we're not boastful. We don't talk no, about what no, we no, do. Yeah, you no, have to find, You have to dig in the rock. You got to dig. Out. It's called being a quiet storm. I'm just saying. Talk about it. It's the quiet storm where you just walk in mm -hmm. and it just, the atmosphere shifts when you walk in. That's right. That's what, that's what that, uh -huh. that feeling is. So I'll tell you something about quiet yes. storm. So oh. I was, they had to wake my mom up until I was born. Oh my. I have a, my birthmark is a, is, is a lightning bolt. Never mind where it is. Okay. But it's a lightning bolt. Lightning right? bolt. Okay. Um, so <laughs> they call me the quiet storm because wow. you came just, just, just flowed out. I guess you wow. got tired of pushing. I don't know what it was. I don't know but what it was. But I came out and you sleep. And I got the lightning bolts on the quiet storm. But then wow. the equilibrium to that is, you know, your nephew, Andrew, my oldest yes. son, right? Yes. Kudos to Andrew. Um, yes. Shout out to he was born on my birthday. Yes. And the same time I was. And his birthmark is a heart on his arm. No, I did not know that. Closest to his heart. Ow. What? Gemini twins. There y'all go. I said it. Y'all know I'm a Gemini. It is what it is, baby. I can't stand to tell nobody my birthday. I can't stand it because y'all people be judging folks. You know what I'm saying? I'm Just serious about that. Right. Yes. Just love the creativeness. Yes. Just get with it. Yes. Just get with and, it. And, and, and I'm going to tell y'all. I did not know that. Andrew. Yep. Andrew. Mwah, baby. Mama yes. love you. Um, but I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't tell wow. and talk about my sign. Not that I'm embarrassed of it because we're the most creative and loving people and understand that we see both sides. Right, right. And I want people to get to the point to stop down in the Gemini. For y'all Geminis ain't doing nothing, shame on you for making us look bad. <laughs> that, part. But, <laughs> that part. But for the ones that are on their game like myself, mm -hmm. uh, my birthday is June the 4th, mm -hmm. so I'm a Taurus mm -hmm. Gemini. Mm -hmm. So You mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. So I'm more of a Taurus than a Gemini, guys. I complete wow. everything that I start. Um, I, 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 I'm a person of a, a matter of a fact. It is like this. Very it is bold, like yeah. this. I'm very yeah. bold. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Um, yeah, very loving person. So I'm bullheaded and it's kind of like sometimes my way, the highway. Or, That's um, it. Period. <laughs> I'm an extremist. <laughs> part. It's either all the way. Right. Or not. Yeah. Yeah. No now, gray. When you, no gray. Yeah. Yes. When you get to the point of loving me, then 
I fall in love hard with right. anything, right. and I give my all. All in all. I give my yeah. all. Yeah. I give my all. So now, we wow. in the hospital room, and God brought you out of it, yeah. because what I want them to understand, Miss Barry, is that even though we go through these storms, yes. and even though things are there to knock us out, because yep. I couldn't even bear if two of my children were in a hospital yeah. room yeah. and then trying to decide which one. I just, yeah. I'll be torn apart. I probably yeah. wouldn't go to nobody's room. But <laughs> That part. I'm sorry, yeah, kids. That part. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't come see none of y'all because I wouldn't know. What to? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'd but fall on the floor and just say Jesus. That's hard. You're right. And 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 for a single mom and and didn't really, you know, like you said, didn't really have that option of figuring right. out, you know, what when and it. I don't know. It just. Right. It, that's where those days go come in. Yeah. The days so and it, the family. It, it, well, I had help. I was married. Ooh, I did 22 yeah. years of marriage. Wow. Yeah. And I got married at. Um, 19, straight out of high school. I oh was with my first husband since uh, sixth grade. Wow. So, and I so I had, yeah, and I divorced uh, David. And um, sorry about your name, baby, but it's all good. You would be on the loo. I don't care anyway. <laughs> Y'all get to see the funny side of it there. But he's a great dad. You he know, is, I just say, he is. my ex, both of them, my ex, they're amazing men. They're wonderful men. Mm -hmm. We all can talk. Yep, we all get yep. along. We all together. You know, mm -hmm. Andrew Bostwick, big ups to mm -hmm. you. David Lewis, big mm -hmm. ups to you. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all for my blessings, you know. Um, those were the two guys that held me down, you know what I mean? Amen. And Amen. Marriage had it ups and downs, Absolutely. and we went through our things. But when, you know, forgiveness comes. Oh, come on now. That's that effort. I mean, you were there through yes. all of it anyway. So. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so. And that's the key. The key is to forgive. If mm -hmm. you're holding on to that yeah. and trying to do this grudge and do this, you, you God is not going to, you're not going to be marked for that favor. Yeah. You know, your power, um, sweetheart, your mm. power is a power that's unexplainable. Mm. Unexplainable. Thank you. Because your strength to me is like Mary watching the wow. passion of Christ. Wow. With what you go through. Wow. And how you came through. Yeah. So when I see you, Marla, and I know what Croy went through. Mm hmm. Because yeah. when, 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 should we tell his name? When Alvin called me. Yes. Okay. We okay. Give you kudos. Too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> we love you, Alvin. We, I we love do. you. <laughs> yeah. So when he, oh, gosh. when he called me. Yeah. He said, Yana, he said, I got, he said, where you at? I said, I'm, I'm whatever. He's like, I'll tell you something. It's time to pray. And you know me and my brother, me and Alvin Jacobs, we would pray in yeah, a second. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Um, and he called me, and he delivered the news about Croy. Croy. I mean, I, I think I almost just dropped. I wow. was driving. I had to pull over. Wow. I had to pull over because, wow. you know, Croy's the baby. It was yeah, like, we yeah, just yeah, seen Croy yeah, at the yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So unexpected. Yep, so unexpected. And when he told me that, you know, I didn't think anything but how in the world mm. god can you please just let her feel him hugging there her. I'm, yeah I'm, I'm here yeah yeah you know so yeah. and i had that you along with so many other people mm -hmm. you know because like i said at that time i was back in cincinnati yeah so i, I was still dealing with that depressed the mood mode yeah. and the move and mm -hmm. all of that i wasn't a bit of a you know i was grateful had my job would just literally yeah. just called my principal from 20 years ago hey i need a job she said yeah. marley what you want to do that was no issue you don't burn bridges so you can call people what back you said now? and i just was easily as if when i left and that was not the issue but like i said i think i was still just in that frame of mind of oh my gosh i'm back in ohio oh my gosh you know it was great being with my family and yes. my mom and dad being there and brother and sister um but like I said, when that happened with Croy, it just I didn't have time to think. I didn't have time to go. Let me go on my list mm. of my friends and girls and the prayer warriors. It just I went into proactive yeah, mode, that's it. and that was that. And then it was the the, the phone calls like that. Like, yeah. hey, I don't, don't ask no question. I just yeah. need you to pray. I just need you to pray. Uh, my baby is really sick. Right, because you know that happened to David. Yep. When my son was born. Guys, oh my uh, gosh, yes. well, you know, David was born with a mucus cyst, and they told wow. me that my baby wasn't going to live. And Jesus, Jesus. His, so my first son, Andrew, I know my sons are kings. Yes. Because when Andrew was born, mm. he had that, uh, his soft spot had bulged up out the size of a golf ball. Mm. And then they told me they wanted to do a spinal tap. And when I called Nana. Shh. Nana went You said both it. of our heads just went. <laughs> Nana, Nana, Nana we're it. not doing that. Mm -mm. And you're not going to mess up this child. Mm -mm. You're not going to mess up this mm -mm. first baby boy. Yep. So that wasn't yep. going. So I had to tell the doctor. My mama said, you can't do that. I got to put a prayer on it. Jesus. Got to put a prayer on it. That part. Woo Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Nana. <laughs> yes, Nana. You got to have a Nana. You got to have a Nana. So we, we prayed for <clears throat> Andrew. Mm -hmm. We did do that. And then and then Tracy, my sister, the prayer mm -hmm. warrior. Mm -hmm. When me and Tracy went to pray. Mm. That was all. We move mountains. Yeah. We Amen. mean you pray. Amen. Amen. 
So the soft spot went from Andrew <laughs> to the baby. To the baby. And when David was born, Andrew I brought home mm. after a little while. And then but he had to keep going back and forth. And then when David mm. went into the hospital, mm. they took my baby. Well, first of all, when David came Ooh, out, I Jesus. said, something wrong with that child. Girl. Don't don't give him to me. Mm. You want to hold your baby? No, mm. I do not. You need to fix him. Mm. And they were like, oh, no, it's just a sound. David mm. was breathing like... <gasps> Mm. Gorgeous. Just imagine having this gorgeous, beautiful baby. Beautiful baby. Yes. This little, this baby yes. looked like it came from a Caucasian yes. woman. Yes. Yeah. You know, because my husband's like Italian. a China jaw. Yeah. So, this beautiful curly haired little baby, and then his stomach his breathing. would, yeah, his, yeah they, she knows the breathing. David's stomach would go in like mm -hmm. you could pour a cup of water, mm -hmm. like a cup, and it would hold because mm -hmm. his breathing was going. But his father Jesus. had a friend. There you go again. That Come company. Come on, that, that company. Did not burn bridges. My husband, ex-husband, mm. his father had a friend that when we sent the pictures to little David to their house, mm. Glasgow's wife, Carla, mm. to Carla, uh, we sent the pictures to Carla, Jesus. and Carla was in the medical field. Thank you, Carla, because oh Carla gosh. was the one that told me, Yana, wow. your baby is losing oxygen. Oh your baby God. is trying to get oxygen. Off he of can't picture. breathe. He can't breathe. So when David was born, his, his picture was like this trying to just that's all the air my baby was getting off his tongue like tentacles right can you imagine wow so then on thanksgiving day this baby was born in august so now in thanksgiving wow. august september october november three months my yeah. baby was only three months he turned blue in my hands sitting in the living room and i'm like my what god do mm. you do what and do then god do? reminded me he said you remember andrew so my boys were in the Bible. Mm, yes. I said, oh, the soft spot. Mm, they say, no, okay, so you is, already got me witnessing. Mm, okay, so, okay. I've so already I been through this, God, so I know. I've been through this, so I know. <clears throat> so they rushed David to the Scottish Rite, and that's when they found the mucus cyst. Because I wow. went to six or seven different hospital guys, and they kept telling me nothing is wrong with your of child. Of course they And did. I kept saying, mm, yes, it is, and mm. you're going to look at it. Right. Okay? And I'm not out. leaving this hospital until right. you do. Absolutely. Because God said, when I had David, you got to talk to David like he's a grown man. So mm. that's why we always call David old yes, man. Yes, old man. But you got to talk to David because David, all my children are special, but this is a special child mm, because mm, you're going to go through it. Mm, and I said, oh, okay. Wow. That's when the whole armor of God had to be applied. Because, wow. you know, before I don't think about the whole armor. Absolutely. Absolutely. But then when that tragedy, so mm. we went through it and David finally came home when he was six months. Wow. That little tiny baby was big as a... You remember wow, how big yeah, David was? Chunky. Chunky just, thing. Yes. <laughs> you got to bite you. <laughs> <laughs> so juicy baby. Girl, if we went hungry, it wasn't no food. I could right. take kid. Oh my but gosh. I was so tiny. Yes. So bunny, y'all. So yes. tiny. Trying to carry this heavy big baby. baby. He was so cute. But yeah, he I couldn't was. even pick up my own he child was. because yeah. right then and there, wow. I had to go through uh, umbilical hernia. Wow. Right? Wow. Um, that's when you talk about abuse, right? Wow. So I went through an umbilical hernia surgery, and my baby was... A baby, mm. and uh, that you know we could smile mm. about it. Today. Yeah, we could smile about it today. Those relationships. Yeah, yeah. Marla. Yeah, I want y'all to know something about her and why she's here on the show. I want you to know that this is what a miracle looks mm. like. This is what a miracle looks like. You know, these two women on this panel, Marla Berry and myself, mm. we have been two mothers that two of our children mm -hmm. have gone through some tragedies mm -hmm. with life. Yes, yes. With life. Yes. And mm -hmm. only God. And and mm -hmm. it was that because I used to say, God, I want a miracle. I keep seeing everybody blessed. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Now I'm living in the big house, yeah. six bedroom yeah. house on yeah. the lake. I'm living lavish. Right. I got right. the Mercedes, the right. Jags right. and all that right. stuff in my yard. But it didn't matter, guys. It didn't matter. The salons, mm. the cleaning mm. companies, the accountant, yeah. all of this stuff. It didn't yeah. matter about the stuff I had. Everybody knew me. I, mm. It was, it was that, oh, Yan and Lou, yeah, okay. Mm. Wow. She lived in the big house still, wow. in the big house still. You know, <laughs> <laughs> what y'all know? Y'all don't know nothing about this girl. It's like, here. So we have the things. Yeah, the things mm. that people sometimes forget to make us happy. But those things can Talk go away. Mm -hmm. And what stays the same is just that center, core center of just you and your relationship. It's yeah. not about religion. It's about a relationship. Oh, Jesus. Is and if you don't have that relationship, that's folk, right. tell him, tell listen, him. if you don't have that relationship with him, it just, it, it, you will never feel complete. A man doesn't complete you. Mm -hmm. Your job doesn't complete you. Your sorority. You have to have that relationship with, with, with the only possible 
um, God himself. Mm -hmm. And once you find that core and that relationship there, your whole life will change. Yeah. Getting in, you know, having your days, your circle of people that are going to pray in those midnight hours. Yes. I used to go in the closet and just cry. Mm. And my dog would come and sit in my lap and I would just, God, come on, please just change. God, what else can I do? And it's in those midnight hours when, mm. when you hear God and you hear him speaking and things began to change because I had to stay obedient. I was up yes. at five o'clock in the morning praying, OK, God, yes. what else do I need to do? What else? Active in my church, making sure my children are grounded, making sure I'm doing what I was supposed to be yes. doing, coming from, you know, two divorces and just making sure I'm doing yes. what I'm supposed to be doing with these children. And yes. it was only by the grace of God. Woo that I was even able to even get to the next level right. of where where I am now. And right. I actually hashtagged that to, to my friend. I was like, look, babe, right. this is it. This this I'm going to my next level. You know? Because and I would have never thought. It's funny. So I've sent two prayers to some special people. Mm. And I think I sent it, I sent it to all my kids. And then I sent it to like two or three other special people. Thank you, Marla. And they thank me for that. Oh. So, guys, it wasn't me mm. that those two pages mm. that I sent out, it wasn't me. Mm. It was her sending that to me, sharing love. But yes. because the connection, that connection of my relationship with mm -hmm. these people, mm -hmm. you had to have that. Ooh. Mm. Because that's the season that they're in. They're in the same season mm. that we're in. Got it. So God says, send that. Yes. So I'm telling you, you yes. know who you are who I sent that mm. to. I sent it today. Mm. Come on. <laughs> And then I sent one of them when she sent it to me originally, the first one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That thing was some meat, boy. Ooh, yeah, look, when God Ooh. gives me stuff, I just... Did you shut the show down? I, right. Ooh. I just, I stop. Sometimes he has me up at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I wake up at 5 just to have that time to myself yeah. and pray and get my mind right. And, but when he, when God puts things in my spirit and I'm just, I'm just, I just, I just want to be that little vessel. Mm hmm to be obedient, mm -hmm. to do what it is. And you're doing a great job. Oh, bless you, And you're doing girl. a great job. I don't take any credit for it, seriously. <laughs> Somebody said, Yanni, you're beautiful. I said, bless God. Bless God. The guy said, yes. why you say that? I said, because he's the one who created me. Period. I didn't create me. Uh, you did I, I, I right. ain't finna life. Right. Right. I ain't right. scared of y'all, people. Right. I ain't scared of none of y'all. None of y'all. Scared of y'all. Scared of Jesus. That part. Up in here. That part. I'm scared of God. Ooh. And to be slapped by that, or to, or to be in, now, in, not, in, not in the way. Of him. Just, uh, yeah, I don't want to be in no parts of that. Let me tell you, I, let me straighten yeah. my clothes up in <laughs> Sunday school here. Yeah. I don't, don't know about no. the west side of the church or the east Ooh. side, but you better hear no it. No parts of that, mm -mm. yeah. Mm -mm. To just not be in his will mm -hmm. or to not, I mean, because we all sin and fall short. We, we, all, do. we all do that, oh, right? Oh, I sin, I ain't going to Okay. Lie. I but, eat like a hoarder. Yeah, look, <laughs> <laughs> look. It it's makes the sense. sweets. It's, it's the sweets to get me. Yeah. Um, but just you know, going back through and just you know, forgiving yourself, mm -hmm. forgiving people that have done you wrong. Yeah. You know, apologizing. That's Ooh. key, people. We yes. gotta apologize. We gotta say sorry when we're what wrong. What does apologizing to people do for you? Uh, it releases something that held had me. I'm bound. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and I want my children's children to there be blessed. You go. There you go. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes. So when I tell I tell people all the time, when I talk to them, I say, hey, I, I, I like my peace. I'm big on atmospheres. Yes. I'm big on how things yes. are. I come to my classroom early and I just, I pray and I get myself set together and I set the atmosphere. Yes. You know, when I go and I have to serve at my church, same thing. I, mm. I pray and I get my mind right and everything. So forgiving and then saying you're sorry and apologize, yes. that releases, yes. that breaks those strongholds wow. that wow. could be, generational that you're passing on to your children. There you go. And, and then you holding something that mm, when you when you don't know how mm, to ask for forgiveness or apologize yes. for something, you're the you the one holding the cancer inside Ooh. of you because those people that moved on and gone on and they were They about. ain't worried about you. So for yourself, Absolutely. you need to learn how to say I'm sorry, ask for forgiveness Absolutely. and all those things because it's in the word of God. Absolutely. He said go before the person yes. that you have offended or yes. that has offended they you. Or has offended and if you, you yes. ask for forgiveness and they did not offend you, then go back and get a witness and Go ask back. again. Get and then if they don't accept your mm. apology at that point, you then got you no know, blood you in your hands. Your hand, and no blood is on your hands. No blood is on your but hands. But you have to apologize because Absolutely. let me tell you something. Absolutely. If I wrong somebody, it, it, it messes with my spirit. Ooh, yes. Your I don't even know why off. she said that, but yeah. she don't even know. Let me tell you something. Right. You don't even know that your verbiage 
what you said I had mm. to do. Wow. Because I offended somebody. Wow. Right? Wow. But it felt so good to walk up to this beautiful mm. young woman mm. and apologize to her today. Wow. When Come I came, when I got to where I am today. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So I hurt somebody's feelings, guys. Mm. And because I felt my feelings was hurt, but I know that this person is a beautiful person. Wow. And I know that I am a beautiful person. And we know better than that. Absolutely. And so it's all about the True and Chat with Young Lewis show is all about cleaning yourself up, mm. getting ready for God's blessing. Yeah. And yeah. you know that if I didn't apologize to her, do you know God couldn't bless me Ooh, with what he, he has for bless me? You. So I ain't mm. finna let nobody no. of no. myself get in no. my own way. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And I love you, darling. Mm -mm. And she know who she is. Mm -mm. I love, 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 That's love, love awesome. you. Mwah. That's awesome. I love her. Yeah, I that's love her. Awesome. Yeah. And I was ashamed of myself mm. the way that I handled the situation because I am the light. Wow. Right. And now God is happy mm. because I am. Oh, Lord, I just sound like Nana. Tell me, mm. because. <laughs> I used to hate when Nana do that. <laughs> love Marla. You know, we used to be in Lake Lanier and Nana be to must be on the grill. Because. And, because. <laughs> Good God Almighty. <laughs> Nana, I'm going to get you. Okay. Nana, we love you. Mwah. Mwah. Nana. So uh, my mom is amazing, guys. Is, and Marla's mother is. is amazing. Baby, oh she's shorter than Marla. Her oh, dad, my dad, gosh. Oh, Lord, I, I love Marla. Mama. So <clears throat> it feels good wow. to be able to love on somebody. Absolutely. And to be able to make everybody feel good, great, and an Absolutely. atmosphere. And then even if you have people that... Um, that you that it doesn't it doesn't matter whether you or it doesn't mean that you love somebody and you want to be all up under them. You don't have to be up under them. You do but not. you do have to show do love. Absolutely. You love do. is an action word. It is. Yes, it is. yes. And when, when when you know better, you do, do better. better. Yeah, and I tell my students that, I tell my, my children that, and it's just you have to remind yourself of that Constantly. sometimes. I'm, I'm on the wall on my mirror in my bathroom. I've got so many quotes and stuff mm -hmm. you can barely see. But I just have to remind myself of those different things because mm -hmm. we forget. We all slip sometimes yeah, yeah. and bump our head. And he, he yeah. has a realist back. And you never know what, I mean, at that time, I was going through a lot, mm -hmm. you know. And so mm -hmm. I was already feeling like it was uh, a lot of, yeah, yeah it was a lot yeah. going on. You yeah. know, my, my daughter just, you know, and, mm -hmm. you know, my grandson mm -hmm. and, you mm -hmm. know, things are going on. Right. And so at that point, it was a lot of pressure upon me. Mm. And so when I felt like mm. I'm... Yeah, you know, up against just, the wall. I'm mean, like up against the you wall. Were the you know, wall. we come out different, Ooh. and that's that's yeah. where, and then that that's where forgiveness comes. That, from. That's where that comes. Forgiveness from. is healing. Absolutely. And so, guys, you know, I wanted Mom, Miss Barry, on this show because we wanted to talk about how you can go through some things in life mm -hmm. and how things can just about take you out of here. Ooh. But then we still stand strong and being these first ladies today. Mm -hmm. First ladies to God and ourselves, yes. not a pastor, because yes. I'm not out here trying to no. be no pastor's wife. Yes. But if mm -mm. it is, uh, mm -mm. hey, how you doing? <laughs> you best get ready because uh, I'm a hot man. This one right here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, y'all. I love life. I love the life uh, yes, because, baby, yes, I'm telling you, yes. I'm going to pray for you, though. Absolutely. So. But we, we, Marla and I, we had a discussion, and I said, I got to bring you on because people need to know the crust and the core of who we are, where mm -hmm. we come from. Absolutely. You know, and the love that we have Absolutely. to bring and how you get through stuff and mm -hmm. how you love on sisters mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. familiarity Absolutely. of how you can go through things. And then, you know, look at them. We, th this, this is us in Bishop <laughs> Gary Hawkins Church. Yes. You hear me? Uh, off of uh, Rockbridge Road yes. and Stone Mountain. Yes. yes. You hear me? <laughs> look, look at us. Look. <laughs> Y'all see them snakeskin boots? We, we all about the shoe game, baby. I'm going to tell you now. Because Yana Lou got to have it. Oh, gosh. But, Those were I mean, times. see, when your hair get yes, big and swelling yes. and somebody want to tackle this. I oh, dare gosh. you. Come on. Oh, gosh. I love it. <laughs> but, Marla, what can you share with the people about self, self mutilation, self abuse, mental mm. abuse, uh, self hate, mm -hmm. and how we come out of just these things that we hold ourselves down because we go through a lot of stuff. We do. And we don't know how to get out of it. Right. Self-depression. Right. You know, and what can we tell them or, or a nugget that you can give them to help them to come try to get pull out, out of that. Of it. Yeah, yes. get out of, get it, out of that. Yeah, get and I think that that's a great question. You know, we're still in this pandemic naturally. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I know for me as an educator and, you know, my parents, my, my, my students' parents mm -hmm. and my students, you know, that was, that was a hard time. I even had times when I came home and I was like, I, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I, I, I could. I was calling my mom, crying every day. Yeah. You know, mom, I, I can't. I can't do this. Like, yeah. I need, I need some help. You know, trying to log on, get these kids on, get yeah. them situated. Then I got to stop. I've got my three kids trying yeah. to log on. The dog is barking. <laughs> I said, Oh my, uh -huh. this was this was a much. And so, 
I, I find a quiet place. Mm. That could be your car. Sometimes it was my closet. Talk about it. It's now a place in my house that I have for that, but it could be two, three minutes. Music is a ministry within mm. itself. Come on, say that. You have to get a good go-to song that you can just get to and that it ministers to your spirit. And you got to pray. Yes. Yeah. Like I think, and, and I think sometimes we as Christians, we, we, you know, our father, no, yeah, no. God, listen, this Look is here, what's up. Daddy. <clears throat> this is what I'm going through. And that, that's how you have to talk. And he responds to that yeah. because we are his children. Mm -hmm. He calls us that royal priesthood. He don't want us to be fake. Absolutely not. And I don't do fake. I don't, I don't I, even well, know I don't how to. Know. Look, I think I told him on the show before last, I, I said, that. I'm not that fake until you make it. I'm just going to make it. I'm just going to make it. I'm just going to make it. Yes. I don't know about the yeah. fake it. No, because we marked for favor. That's what. Ooh. Shout out again to my mm. past, Vincent right. Campbell, TFC. Uh, we marked and, for favor. And when, when, when that happens, that happens in the womb. Yeah. So he knew what you were going to be doing. He then, knew what I was going to He knew what you were going to be doing, mm -hmm. that part. And even when you feel like, well, you know, they're talking about me. I don't, I don't feel empowered. I don't feel, yeah. I don't try to be like anybody else. So that's the key, people. Ooh, you got to listen to please, me. Please, Tyler. Don't try to be like anybody else. Ooh. God marked you for a reason. And when he does those things, you are like no one else. I have twins. And even though I have twins and my sister and I, we were both pregnant with twins. Even the twins are different. They have different fingerprints. They have different modes and minds and sets. Don't try to be like anybody else but you. I tell my students all the time, be the best version of you. Amen. That's it. Amen. I mean, whatever that looks like, whatever mm -hmm. that looks like, for you in your profession as a father as a mother um stepping out on faith you yes. know doing this whole business whatever that may you be the best version of you and you got to get to that quiet place where you can say god i need you to speak to me mm -hmm. god i need you he wakes me up two three four o'clock in the what morning and i'm say? like oh okay. go to bed and, I, and i'm texting her at, yes hey girl. it don't matter what time of night we we edit and i'm like they, after we finish the text and god give us a message we both talking about what you doing up? What you doing? What you up? doing up? Same thing you doing. So it's just it, it it and I didn't always get I didn't get here today. Yeah. I didn't I didn't I have not arrived either. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Ooh. Like I'm I'm still growing in God. I'm yeah. still but I've been through some things that that have that has really sharpened me. Yeah. In in my faith and in my walk. Come on now. Come and on. that that's 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 where it is. And I got so many more things to still to, do. To still do. Absolutely. I found mine absolutely. in that meditation time. Oh, absolutely. I, girl. Yeah. Because yeah. if I don't meditate. You don't, yeah. At you the know, beginning of your day. At the beginning yes. of the day. Yes. If I do not meditate, yes. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Yes. I don't know how I'm going to get there. Yep. I don't know why. Right. Oh, my sunshine. <laughs> Y'all, I'm talking about, I have somebody just walk in the audience, baby, and let me tell you. She smiled. Now, I I'm smile. Sorry. I smile. What? Oh, my sunshine. Oh, Lord, I got some people in the audience, baby, that just put a Look smile here. on my face. She Look at here. happy about it. My beam and my wind wind. <laughs> you know, I know y'all got Wendy Williams on the television show, but you don't have a beam, baby. No, and you don't have part. a You don't have mm. a Wendy from next door. Mm. No. Do you hear me? <laughs> bing, bing. Y'all get some clap. Give it up. We're going to shout it out. Woo. In the house. She finally came down to the, thank y'all, thank y'all. Yes, Come yes, down to the house and she was smiling at I was trying to look, I mean, see he what lit she my world up. At. You, you got to love your baby brother now. You I do. Mean, hey, you do. It you is do. what it is. It, it Dang. Is. <laughs> you better do that shimmy for me. What you said? <laughs> I mean, that's what it does to oh, me now. Oh, gosh, that's I'm awesome. telling you. So, guys, you see how it is? The love, yeah, the joy, yeah. the connection. Yes. The friendship, the, yes, sisterhood, the sisterhood, the tears. So yes. I'm gonna tell y'all a funny story about oh, Marla Berry. Oh, right? So uh, she was she was dating my god brother, right? And then they wound up getting married, and this was beautiful. Yeah. And um, I loved her so much. Okay, I was like, this it? We marrying this one? I don't know what you heard, but this one right here, right here. Oh, she know how to joke oh, like gosh. our family. Yes, she yes. know how to play with our family. Yeah, she know I how to take a joke with yeah. our family. Yeah. Because our family is extremely family oriented. Absolutely. Nana All House is the bomb.com, oh, baby. Nana. And All her food. Kids. Nana's food. Woo. My mama's oh. food. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Nana's food. And they got some beautiful land and, and all the kids on the land. It's yeah. just, mmm. <laughs> Baby, so we over at her house for a function. Yes, and Lord Jesus. Me, her, and Alvin, we all talking, <laughs> oh right? Gosh. And Alvin Jacobs is a character. He he funny, Within honey. Himself. He just, oh Lord. Yeah. So I told him, I said, y'all need to have a baby, cause you know I wanted to solidify you this relationship. Tell this story. I think I married her before he married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's you when it's crazy. good. 
Yeah. When you can fall you can, in love, you can, yeah, with, and have with, that connection, with, with, and it was immediate though. Immediate. Like we were, it was the moment we immediate. laid eyes on yeah. each other. It was like, it was, yeah, bro, I like that her. Kid, that kid she, she cuts me out. She she I pulled did, my did, little collar. Yeah, I, she I, get I, me straight. She be like, yeah, yeah, Yolanda, yeah get it together. Yana yeah. Luda, y'all, <laughs> but she'll you land to me in two point five. I sure will. Uh, bring it in. Yes, yes. That's your day. That you gotta have those people. Mm-hmm. It's going to get you right. Girl, you was wrong. You need to say that. You need to apologize. Good job, girl. This is your season. Because we don't you want gotta... no yes people around yeah. us. Mm -mm. I'm going to tell mm -mm. you another great mm -mm. nugget about her. Mm -mm. She's rep She's actually partially representing her <laughs> sorority. Hey. Kudos and big ups hey. to those AKA Shout out girls. to the AKA. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Oh, I love yes. you that. Shout out to the AKs. Okay. Yes. Those AKAs are in the community, guys, doing yes. some great things. We are. Deltas, we are. Mwah. We are. I love you all, we but are. those AKAs are some special girls. We I love are. you, girls, yes. because I see my sister pop yes. that AKA yes. like nobody's yes. business. Yes. Yeah. And it's, it, I love it because it's, like you said, doing things in the community, but it's just the scholarships, the, you know, that we're out in the streets, you know, we're collecting the garbage. Yeah. We're yeah. all, even in the pandemic, you know, we had mm. to still be creative in what we were doing. Yeah. Um, but it just, you know, my chapter UAO um, in Gwinnett County, I've been a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Gwinnett Incorporated uh, for 28 years. I can't Ooh, believe it. Um, there's like 19 mm -hmm. AKAs in my family. So we just, we hold it down. But it's just, it's more than just the colors. It's more yeah. than just the steps and all that stuff. That's all good and great. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is about the community and serving and, and really, you know, going back and, you know, helping someone um, in need, you know, yeah. from the scholarships that we do. We just had our big debutante um, not too long ago. Oh, it was so phenomenal. And it's just, you know, giving those scholarships for those yes. children that, you know, maybe don't have an opportunity okay. to, to go. Um, so it's just, it's, it's wonderful. I, I, I have enjoyed. I think the AKAs and the Alphas, not that any other sorority or fraternity do, doesn't do anything. Right. You guys do. Absolutely. But um, my ex-husband was an Alpha. Yes. And so, you know, I was power to the people uh, with the yes. little peak in my head. Right. I dark skin, <laughs> blue tools, and blue dollars. Like, yeah. So, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I, you know. Oh, gosh. It yes. is what it is. Yes. I'm on the yard like that. You <laughs> feel me? And then, you know. You think you want to think about <laughs> going to school, being a lawyer, and then you learn that uh, the lawyers can um, get their life and judges can get their life, and it's time to drop out of school. It's, look. I got you to go. You know, <laughs> uh, cosmetologists sound real good right real now. Real good, and she's uh -huh. wonderful in that. We bless yeah. God for yeah, that. Yeah, big up yes. to Christopher we Dean Salon and Spa. Yeah, Held that salon down yeah, in Buckhead off of West Wyu, yes. baby. Yes. I just put a post up on Instagram with my salon mm -hmm. showing all those mm -hmm. fabulous things. And all the hairstyles was done by me. That was Come online. On. And Come all on, the magazine out. pages that the pictures are done. That was yes. me doing uh, magazine work. So, ow, this girl is hot. You know, you got to put it out there because sometimes people don't know who you are if you don't really talk. And you know I'm a behind the scene person. Absolutely. A quiet, we quiet storms. Quiet storms. We quiet storms. You got to okay. just, you got to come in and the atmosphere just has to shift when you get there. You don't have to have a big old, hey, I'm here, I'm loud. Yeah. Just, yeah. just yeah. sit. So when you look at being an AKA, yes. how did that, how did that ready you or were you already ready in your womanhood of positive mindset of making that stance with y'all yeah. self and all that. What did it do for you to become an AKA? Well, like I say to my children and, and other young people that want to become, you know, I, I, AKA didn't make me, I made AKA, you know what I mean? Ooh. Like, like there's, there's this, for me to be part of this sorority, mm -hmm. They're glad that I'm part of this sorority. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you know, because I yes. think sometimes in our mindset we go, you bring oh, something I, to the I, table. I bring something to the table. Like I've got to go and I've got to do this and mm, no, 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 and I got to be this person. I got, mm -mm, I got to be Greek so I can. Yeah. Mm -mm, mm -hmm. mm, I, it's just, it's been. I've gotten jobs because they see yeah. Alpha Cap Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Do you? Hear? I've gotten jobs Please based on it. that. So if y'all in college, think about a sorority or fraternity because it Absolutely. carries weight. It is so many connections, you guys. Based on, so this is why this is important. Listen to me. Okay, you got to go to school. You got to graduate. You have to have a phenomenal, phenomenal four years of high school. Okay, because mm -hmm. they're looking at you at, as a freshman. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, what, if I, what if I don't want to go to school? To, you're going to go to college. When you go to college, even though you're not thinking about that, your freshman That's year right. in high school, they're going to go back and look at that and see all the community service, all these things that mm -hmm. you did. And then that, and then once you get on campus, people are watching you. Yeah. Fraternity, yeah. sororities, you know, if you're part of choir, band, whatever, you know, SGA, whatever you're part of, yeah. 
all of that. So because your accountability because you don't absolutely they worked hard for their reputation and the great absolutely. things that they're doing, correct? Absolutely. So that means that we're gonna look at you from way, way back. It's like absolutely. checking your history. Absolutely. You so your ID you, you doing all those things your mama don't mm -hmm. know you're doing on your right. IG? Mm -hmm. Clean it up. Please, please. I just told both of my my, my twins, like mm -hmm. look, get get on here and look at this. Yeah. Again, not that they're posting anything, because I post um, Marla's motivational moments every morning. And so, let's talk about that. Yes. So Marla has her Instagram page, and what it what God put on her heart, she uh, motivates people. She lifts people up, and, and I, I love her page because <laughs> when I am down, when I'm going through things, I just know that... Um, I just know that I can. I have a liaison wow. or a different place I can go to pull that strength back into wow. me. To yes. where sometimes, you know, what we call our sisters mm -hmm. and brothers, we can't reach you because right. you're on your job. Right. 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 So then that means that we have to have to find another avenue yep. in order to feed that spirit that is yes. lacking yes. the nourishment that it needs. Absolutely. You know, from the Word of God Absolutely. or whomever you believe in. Because, like right. I say, we're no perspective of man. You know, I don't disrespect nobody's religion, but believe in it wholeheartedly. So at that point you know, we get to the point that we can have something to pull. So yes. she has, she has an excellent, not an amazing, <laughs> uh, you know, like amazing. Yeah. She has an sure. excellent, <laughs> an excellent, excellent, oh, excellent um, Instagram page. And I want you guys to get this Instagram page because you can find yourself to be encouraged mm -hmm. when you just don't know what to do. Yes. So Marla, tell yes. them how to. Yeah, so my Instagram is um, MJB1908. And um, I just like to be a motivator. I just yeah. like to, you know, just put it out there. You know, sometimes God gives me things in that midnight hour. Sometimes it's a quote from something. It's, it might be something I've written in my classroom. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just, I'm, I'm all about just making that person feel good about themselves. Right. Um, and just being that light, like you said, being that being light, light that God has just always blessed you to be. I'm that David of the family. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I knew I was a little different. I knew, you know, my mom and dad used to call me badness. I don't really know why I used to call me badness, but well, anyway. Don't let me tell the truth. <laughs> anyway, um, I have blossomed into this person um, that God has really uh, chosen me in this season, mm -hmm. and I'm just grateful. I was I was in a weird place when mm -hmm. I really started with those posts, and I didn't realize people were reading and looking. Yeah. And girl, honey, I read your post today, yeah. and it was just. And, I, I, and God just said, keep doing it. Keep doing yeah. it. Even when Croy got sick, you know, people really, really didn't know what was going on if you really weren't in my circle. Right. You didn't really know. And I was posting my location. I was in Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. So people were like, girl, do you work at Cincinnati? Are you are, wow. are you the manager down yeah. at Cincinnati Children's? Like, what are you right. doing? I'm and just so a again, Yeah. And motivator. even, girl, like, they were like, well, even when your son was sick and he got, mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's just, kind of what I did at the salon. You know, Christopher D., my salon yes, was a Christian salon. Yes. And um, I'm still going to go back and open up yes, the cosmetology. Well, look at that. Ooh, so I look at them pretty styles. Like, you know, I do everybody's yes. hairstyles. You know yes. what I'm saying? I mean, nice hair, Caucasian <laughs> hair, Asian hair, yes. black hair. I colored, I cut, I weave. She does it all. I do she it all, it all, baby. I did mm. it all. Mm. So, you know, when you talk about Christopher D., nice. it was a, and Christopher, it was mm. my maiden name, and Dean is my middle, right? So when you talk about Christopher Dean's salon and spa, I loved it because you can, nice. you'll come in, you will hear praise and worship on a low tone because we got to be able to think mm -hmm. and you will have something like a lemongrass or, you know, minty nice. smelling when you first come yeah. in. So I had like, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I had like six rooms down there, right? I had a, um, the nail room and it also had a shower in there. Right. Mm. So uh, when the tennis players come from Chastain Park, mm. they would be able go to take a there. shower. And then, you know, I would go in. They got their little stuff wrapped up and the massage table was there. That was a private massage room and it had a nail table. So in that room, that was a spa room. Nice. So you had the shower, you had the massage table, you had the um, aromatherapy uh, area oh, yeah. and the nail table so they can get it all done in one what pedicure area that, in that area. Across the hall from that was... Um, that was a, a couple's massage room, but we had four beds and was split, you know, you can, for different people. Yeah, I know, because yeah, he was always busy. I know. She didn't come down, but we were still yeah, sisters. Yeah, right. That was the whole time I was acting out. Right. Where is it the Yeah, she was, yeah. So, mm, so um, <laughs> then the salon portion is when you came in and, oh you gosh. know, the serenity room where the uh, sinks are and, you know, the stylists and we have fun and take oh pictures. And guys, I had a fashion show. So the t-shirts, Christopher D, you know, Salon yes. Spa was beautiful. Yes. Office, my accountant office, I ran, um, I was an accountant by trade, so I ran um, 
uh, AJT Construction, which is in Buckhead, you know, all those nice. big houses. So, and we do refurbishing the houses. And he taught me brokerage. And so I would wow. go down there and run the set and make sure wow. you over here painting right. and you over here. Right. I mean, all I that. had some fun in my all life, that. guys. I'm That's, telling you. Look, I, I did. Supposed to. I did. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, what I want you guys to know is <clears throat> that I love my sisters. Mm -hmm. I really love my sisters. Yeah. And, you know, it's about opening up Absolutely. your heart and everything that you have to pour into one another. Absolutely. So Absolutely. How, how do we go into how do we go into transitioning from a negative mind to a positive mm -hmm. mind, being able to receive what God has for mm -hmm. us? Because sometimes we can go through different situations, abuse. Mm -hmm. OK, mm -hmm. we can go through depression. Yes. We can go that's through real. Oh, that's uh, real. loss of family and mm -hmm. don't know, you know, mm -hmm. and pressure on jobs, mm -hmm. bullying, mm -hmm. uh, feeling loneliness. Yes, yes. How do we get through that? What's, yes. What, what, what's some things? So I, I'm again, I'm I'm really big on, like you said, the meditating and just kind of getting your mind. You really have to have a mindset of I believe this. You, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I, I, you know, you could name all those things and then they're all gone. But, you know, at one time I had this and God, I'm going to get there again. Mm -hmm. And you have to believe it. So the key to that mm -hmm. is you have to believe you have to have faith. You have to believe yeah. and you have to have your circle, your they's yeah. who are going to encourage you, who are going to tell you, hey, you, you, this is not a good season or girl, go, go for it. Our hashtag this year at, at the Faith Center is mm. go for it again. Ooh, ooh. We went for it last year, huh? Right. And now we're going for it again. Go get and, the rest of it. Huh? <laughs> Go get the rest, of, get what's the rest of it. What's yours? What's yours? Because I know Vincent Campbell going to tell it how T.I. is. And he going to come back. So go get the rest of it. Go get the yes. rest of it. So, Marla, let me ask you a question. Because today's relationships have turned topsy-turvy. Huh. Right? <laughs> I don't know what's going on out here. I'm so scared today. <laughs> I, you know, yeah. I got people hit me on my DM yeah. talking about, hey, yeah. how are you? And, What's up? and I don't know how I got your number. Well, then mm. act like you don't have it and don't that DM part. me no and more. But I'm just kidding. That part. But I love on the people that DM me. They're sweet. I just not, I'm not going to date you. I, mm. I, right. I'm not. I, in, right. I understand. I support I understand. how y'all meet each other. But I'm a... <laughs> I need to I see you, touch you, hey, right. how you doing, right. you know. Right. I, I'm not up on the social media yet. You know, I don't know how God's going to do it with right. me. I'm open, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid kidnapping you. Know right, me. chop you up and put what? you in the organs. And, right. Uh, I know. Y'all understand. Watch the news. Watch the news. So today's relationship, yes. what do you think that turned it around and how can we get it back to the way that it used to be? To that the, old school? You remember when we used to stand on the wall of the dance and the yes. boys used to walk up and yes. be like, Yes, old school. I'm going to choose you. So now the dudes are on the wall like this with their pants sagging, which right. you ain't talking to me. That part. Uh, with their pants sagging. And right. they're looking at what you going to do because right. she over here doing this. And, right. But the chicks are going up to them. So that's what I want to ask you. Because <laughs> she really lives with me, baby. If I got to find a man, what? you can forget it. I'm good what? by myself. I ain't what, looking for nothing. What, I'm chosen. I'm just, I, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, and I think that's why I have this connection with like teens, you know, girls and guys, because I'm, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it real. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, let's not forget about these values that our grandmothers and our mothers Ooh. instilled in us, sisters, Ooh. right? We got, we got, and it's, it's okay. It's yeah. okay to, to, hey, I was yeah. just kind of perusing. Mm -hmm. I saw some things that I liked. Mm -hmm. Hey. And then. Wheel it back on in. Wheel it back on in. With the respect. That that part. Yeah, because I think we've forgotten that. I think we've we forgotten have. those Ladies, just things. clean it up. Give them something yeah. to chase. Don't yeah, put everything please. on the front street. Yeah. Don't make your pants too tight. Don't make your yeah. everything showing out yeah. there. Your monkey just, in the yard. Yeah, we're not. You know, mm -hmm. we already said you got it. So, guys, it's Marla. I have loved you coming yes. down here. Yes. Give me some chill. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what we're doing. Yes. I'm telling you guys, yes. I love it, I love yes, it, I love yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. So guys, it has been inf an informative tonight. Yes. Tonight. It has yes. been giving you an opportunity to see two intelligent young women. Absolutely. That has a lot, a lot, a lot to, uh, a lot to, um, it has shown you a lot of love tonight. It has shown you a lot of education in order to you, in order for you to look at my tongue, I'll twist it up. But the devil is a lie because we still going to get it. So what you learned tonight was educational nuggets in order to move you forward in your life when tragedy comes. OK, so just take heed to it. Make sure that you gravitate to those things that can lift you up and that can inspire you and push you to the next level of your better being. Right? 
You want to make sure that you're always leveling up. Big ups to UC era on leveling up. You want to make sure that you're always leveling up. You want to make sure that you're always doing a chin check. That's what you want to do so that you can live your better life for today. You can live your better life today. Some people come to disturb you. Some people come to try to knock you off your game, but it doesn't work because what God has for you is for you. All right, guys, I'm going to tell you something tonight. We're getting ready to wrap up almost on our 10th show, 10th show, guys. So I want you to like, subscribe, and check us out. Go on Google. You already have the information for Caribbean Life TV. Go on Google and Google Chew and Chat with Yana Lou. So you can also like and subscribe on my page, the original page of Chew and Chat with Yana Lou. Caribbean Life TV and Chew and Chat with Yana Lou is a family. We love each other. We celebrate you guys. It has been wonderful, wonderful down here bringing you guys some knowledgeable people with love. Take heed to these messages, guys. Love yourself. Remember that Yana Lou loves you all day, every day. And wah-wah, good night. Until we see you again next Friday from 7 to 8 o'clock, I love you all.